Hello, I'm Emily Wilkins, and I have the honor of serving as the 117th president of the National Press Club. One year ago today, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was on a work trip in Russia when security agents took him from a restaurant, detained him, and falsely accused him of espionage. The actions of the Russian government were jarring and unexpected. Evan was a fully credentialed to be in Russia and be reporting, and no American journalist has been held by Russia since the Cold War. Without Evan's reporting, we have lost insight into a country and a war where accurate information is desperately needed. Evan is the kind of reporter who was uniquely able to tell us about Russia, its politics, and its people. In our democracy, each citizen must be informed to fully participate. Our method of government relies on a public informed by a free and independent press. And when Russia jailed Evan, they put a little piece of who we are in that cell with him. We, the people, we need him back. And his family needs him back. Russia's issue is not with Evan and it is not with his family. We call on Russia to release Evan today. Send him home to his parents, Mikhail and Ella, and his sister, Danielle. And let's be clear here, it is up to our government to bring Evan home. President Biden, Secretary Blinken, and all whose job it is to protect citizens abroad and bring them home safe, you need to do better for journalists. Their families have the right to expect that their government will bring them home. Now is the time to make sure that Evan's unjust imprisonment is front and center. Wear your free Evan pins. Tweet about Evan with the hashtag I stand with Evan. Check out the Wall Street Journal's resources for social media and consider changing your profile picture on social media sites today. And if you're a reporter, ask about Evan and what is being done to bring him home. Hold our officials accountable. Ask follow-up questions. Make sure the U.S. government knows that we will not stop fighting for Evan's freedom and that of all journalists held hostage must be a priority. The 3,000 members of the National Press Club have sought to bring attention to Evan's case from the start, naming him our 2023 Obashan Press Freedom Honoree. And we invite you to stand with us in the fight to bring Evan home. Because journalism is not a crime.